Hey guys, happy holidays and welcome to Monday Threads. My name is Monday and I love to recreate or sew looks that I can't afford or don't easily have access to. I am also the founder of um, the Love It, Sew It, Wear It um, hashtag and movement where I encourage um, people to sew and wear what they love. Okay, so today's video is slightly different. It is not a tutorial. But um, I was tagged to um, take part in the, let me see what this is, five questions, let me see, <laughs> five questions, one take. And I guess this is where you answer uh, five questions in one take. And I was tagged by uh, Judith D of Judith D Creations. Um, thank you for the tag, Judith. Kind of nervous because I've never really done one of these, but I thought it would be uh, great to do just so you could learn a few more uh, things about me. Okay, so I will go straight into the questions and I will be reading, reading them off. So the first question is, if you were given a paid sab sabbatical to spend a year living anywhere in the world, where would it be and why? For the longest time, I have had a fascination of Japan. Uh, when I was in primary school, when I was in high school, I don't know, just the culture, the people, um, the technology, everything about Japan was very fascinating to me. And so um, I would just love to be there and, and a year would be a perfect time to just immerse myself in everything uh, Japanese. So I hope in my lifetime I will be able to go there even if it's just um, for a vacation or I don't know. I mean just to spend some time there. I do plan on doing that sometime in my lifetime. So yes, Japan. Weird but I don't know. It's just, I don't know, there's just something about the country, the culture, the people. Um, the technology, everything. I just, I just love it. Anyways, next question. Who was your favorite teacher growing up and how did they influence you? Now, one thing about me is that I, I am not a favorites person. So I don't have a favorite this or a favorite that. So um, this question is kind of hard for me because I didn't really have a favorite teacher. I had teachers all through my life all through my um, educational life, I guess, um, that influenced me in different, uh, different parts of my life journey. But I wouldn't say there was one particular person that really made a huge impact. So um, that's a hard question for me to answer. I, I don't really have a favorite teacher um, who influenced me. I had so many people, and I still have so many people that I learn from and continue to influence me today. Third question, name three things besides sewing that you are good at. I don't know if I can name three. <laughs> One, I do hair. Um, I would say I'm fairly good at doing hair, all kinds of hair. Um, when I was in college, I actually did hair to raise money to pay, to pay for college. So um, that was one of the things that I, I did. And I enjoy doing hair. Um, I just don't do it as often and I don't do it for other people anymore. Um, so hair, uh, what else? <laughs> what do I do really well? Oh, well, I'm a good listener. I know that's something that everyone can, uh, I don't know, can say, but I'm an introvert, so I'm very low energy, um, crowds of people intimidate me, drain my energy. So usually when I'm in a situation like that, I, I put myself in a position where I listen and I listen <laughs> a lot. So I would say that's, a, that's one thing that I feel that I'm really, really good at. I am really, I'm a really good listener. and. To the third one, and, and that really comes from the second point as well, is that I don't just listen where it goes from one ear to another ear. I 
actually retain very specific pieces of information that you give me. So if I meet you for the first time and you're, um, you're telling me something, you're talking, and I think most people do this or say things because they, they feel like they might never meet me, I don't know, meet me again in the future. So they'll tell me pieces of information. And when I do happen to meet you again, I will go back to that conversation and say, oh, so how did this turn out or how is this person? And a lot of people get surprised because of the details that I'm able to retain. Now, I don't have like an exceptional memory. I don't have a photogenic memory, but I don't know. I think it's just um, something that I do to help me remember um, I don't know. <laughs> Help me remember and relate to people. <laughs> it's the little details that you tell me I am going to remember. And sometimes it's scary. Sometimes it's uh, frustrating because I put, I put energy and time. And if you are having a conversation with me, you are important. And so I am listening to you. I'm picking up these details that I'm going to go back to in the future. But sad enough, about 98% of the people, if, I'll, if I meet, anyway, if I meet you the sec, uh, second time, most people won't even remember that we met. So I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this gift because it really is a gift. Um, I don't know what I'm supposed to do with it. But um, yeah, it's, it's just something that I do well. <laughs> okay that kind of got a bit too deep and emotional but um, okay so the next question is do you cook what meal or recipe are you most known for and if you don't cook what meal or recipe do you most like to have made for you I cook um, cooking is not my favorite thing I cook for nourishment, <laughs> I cook for sustenance, um, I cook because we have to eat. If I had the option of not eating, I would not cook. <laughs> so yeah, um, so I'm not known for anything specific or anything special. I do enjoy um, eating, <laughs> I do enjoy food. Um, Again, because I'm not a favorites person, I don't, there's nothing that I have, I mean, there, there's no favorite food that I have or favorite thing that I like to cook. So, yeah, <laughs> that's that. Um, last question. What is your favorite pattern ever and why? Again, I'm not a favorites person. There will be seasons where I enjoy sewing um, one pattern over another, but I wouldn't say that's my favorite pattern. Right now, um, what I am enjoying sewing is, is it McCall's? Um, M6886. It's a, it's a very old pattern, um, very popular. I like it because of um, so many things that you can make out of it. It's a very, very simple, very basic pattern, but there's so much that you can do with it. So I'm enjoying that right now, and I, I, was, I will be making a few makes um, from it. My most recent sewing video actually uses that to create the um, turtleneck choker dress. So um, if you want to see that, you can go uh, look for one of uh, that video uh, that I did. So that is all the questions and I hope um, I shared a few interesting things about me. Okay, so I'm supposed to tag a few people and most of the people that I wanted to tag have already been tagged. So I'll just throw it out there and if they haven't been tagged, then I'll yay. Um, if they have, then you just move it on to the next one or whoever wants to do um, this tag can 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 do it so I'm going to tag that's so Monica Monica of that's so Monica and 
I don't know how to pronounce her, her name. Elewa, Elewa, Elewa Fashion. I love um, her YouTube ta uh, channel. She doesn't really post that much, or I haven't seen anything new in a while. But I would love to 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 know a bit more about her outside of uh, the sewing. And I also don't know how to pronounce this name, Avoke. Um, I will definitely tag her and I know she recently had a baby. Congratulations to you and Giuseppe. Um, so if you can do that tag uh, while looking after baby, I would greatly appreciate it. So that is pretty much the video and I hope you enjoyed it. I will see you in the next video and have a great day. Bye. <laughs>